Good morning. So it is Monday, August 1st, and it is the first day of uh, the magical readathon autumn equinox. And so I have decided to vlog my way through the nine books that I have chosen to read for my God Seer calling. And so, <clears throat> excuse me. So the first book that I am reading is I was supposed to get an O in inscription and so for that I am to read a childhood favorite. For that I chose The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight by R.L. Stein. Um, I'm really getting all of like the fifth grade nostalgic feelings um, when I was in fifth grade. Like I I actually just, I'm reading this, I'm listening to it on audiobook. It's two hours and 53 minutes, I think. And um, yeah, I can just, in my mind, I'm right back there in my fifth grade classroom. Um, anyway, so that is super awesome. So like I said, this book is two hours and 53 minutes on audiobook. I am already to chapter six this morning. Um, characters that we've been introduced to so far. We've got a brother and sister, Jody and Mark. They have come to hang out at their grandparents' farm for the summer. Um, so we've also met grandma and grandpa. We've met the farmhand, Stanley, and his 16-year-old son, Styx. And so um, basically something is just off at the farm this summer. Um, grandma and grandpa are acting funny. They're not their usual like chipper energetic selves. They seem to have aged over the past year. Um, grandma's not making her chocolate chip pancakes for them that they always look forward to. Um, yeah and then just kind of some weird things around the farm. Grandpa made a comment about the cows giving sour milk and there was an ear of corn that was just rotten with worms and so on. Um, and yeah, Stanley, the farmhand, is being really weird and making some weird comments about this book that he's been reading and it's a book on superstition and, you know, he has, he has said the scarecrows walk at midnight. I learned how to make them walk through this book. So, um, yeah, and Jody has just actually seen the scarecrows kind of moving in unison out her, her window, um, where she's staying, I guess a bedroom window or a guest room window. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I, so my strategy for Autumn Equinox is that I had two pretty big, um, fantasy books that I wanted to get to this month. One being, uh, The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness and the other one being the third book, Blood Trader. Um, and so that's the third book in the Prison Healer series. So all of the other seven books that I chose for Autumn Equinox are pretty, I mean, relatively short. Um, so yeah. I'm actually hoping just to kind of jumpstart this today and get through The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. Um, and yeah, and then we'll see what else we get to. I would like to start The Book of Life today because it is, it's long and we're actually supposed to have our live discussion on the 12th. So yeah, I kind of need to rock and roll with that one. Anywho, I am getting ready to go into work. And so yeah, wish me luck. So it is Monday evening uh, after work today we went I went over to my parents house and we celebrated belatedly my son's 18th birthday um, 
we did not celebrate on his birthday because he actually took a road trip um, to Montana and so had a lot of fun doing that. So it was cool to finally get to celebrate him and um, we had some amazing ice cream sandwich cake and we played Cards Against Humanity and I laughed so hard. Um, yeah, it's like so awful, but I cannot help but laugh. <laughs> so anyway, um, that was tons of fun. I did get quite a bit of my The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight audiobook done today. I only have about 28 minutes left. Um, I don't really know how I'm feeling about it or if I'm enjoying it. I just feel like it's okay. Um, I did notice some similarities between this and Small Spaces by Katherine Arden, which I read either earlier this year or last year. Um, anyway, so that was interesting. But yeah, the story just hasn't really progressed a whole lot. Um, in my opinion, there, and I should have maybe watched my previous clip to see kind of where I was at um, this morning, but Basically, Jody thinks that she is seeing these scarecrows on the farm come to life. Um, there's been times when I'm like, is she, is this actually happening? Like, is she crazy? Um, not is she crazy, that sounds terrible, but like, is she imagining this? Was basically what I was wondering. And... Yeah, and she has tried to share her concerns with her grandparents, Grandpa Kurt and Grandma Miriam, and they've kind of just, like, brushed her off. That's always a little bit frustrating to me, like, when the adults don't take the kid seriously, when the kid has something that is concerning them. Um, whether the scarecrows are actually walking or not, like, I just wish they would kind of pay attention to her. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, there's definitely, definitely some things going on with Stanley. Stanley definitely has a part in all of this. Um, Sticks, I, I am still not like 100% sure on, on Sticks and his role in all of this. I'm not saying I'm suspicious of Sticks. I'm just saying I just don't have a good read on him. Uh, I just haven't been able to get a good read on him. So anyway, I know that was kind of rambly. But that's where I'm at. I just really don't know how to feel about the story right now. I'm just not, I'm not like enthralled or engrossed or just like, oh my gosh, I just really want to know what what is going to happen. Because it's almost been like a lot of just the same things. Like it's repetitious. It's like, oh, something, something is scary is happening, but oh, here's this like practical explanation of why that's happening. So I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe lost some of my warm, warm fuzzies from this morning. I also started The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness. I am somewhere in chapter two, which is good. Ideally, by the end of today, I would like to be through chapter three because that would be like our first discussion point in the Discord. Um, but we'll see. I'm pretty wiped out after today. So, um, yeah, we'll see how much reading I get done later this evening. Yes, hopefully you guys can hear me over the cicadas. <laughs> um, I finished the Scarecrow Walks at Midnight last night. It was not for me. It was not for me. And I strongly feel that my fifth grade self was being highly influenced by her peers. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, I just, I didn't like it. And um, 
I would say if you want to read a middle grade book about scarecrows, then I would recommend Small Spaces over The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. I, I gave Small Spaces five stars. Anyway, it was really good. And if you compare the two, there's just, there is no comparison. So um, anyway, done with that. That's awesome. I forgot to mention that I'm also doing Polarathon and so, or Polarthon. So that is um, 100 pages well, it was 144 pages. So 100 pages down for Polarthon, I've caught one fish in the fishing tournament. Um, so that's awesome. This morning, I started Took by Mary Downing Hahn. Um, I started the audiobook. I would really prefer to read the physical book. It's just, is time going to allow for that? So Chapter two, I can already tell I'm really loving the writing. I can already tell that this is definitely going to be more of a, I don't know. I can definitely take this book more seriously. There is the potential for the creepy vibes there. Um, this one came highly recommended by my daughter. So finally getting around to it, which she's happy about. Um, yeah. And then I also continued on in the book of life. I am on chapter three now. Um, so didn't make as much progress yesterday as I would have liked to, but these chapters are longer and that's been my one beef with the book of life is that they take me a little while to get through. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just need to get over that and just enjoy the ride. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go to work now and I'll check in with you later. it's because I am. I am done with both of my jobs for the day, jobs for the day, and uh, I've had my shower and I'm all refreshed. We've been in like a three-day heat wave here in Missouri again, so that's awesome. Um, I did not mention this morning, oh look, I have the physical book, nice. I did not mention this morning that I am reading this for, because I need a cue in restoration. And so I needed a book with a single object on the cover, which is this creepy baby doll hand. Um, yeah, and I also did not tell you what this is about. So I've made it to chapter seven today. So about 80 pages in or so. I'd really like to get about a hundred today. Um, anyway. This is about Daniel and his sister, Erica. They have just moved with their parents to West Virginia uh, from Connecticut. And they are used to a more kind of like fluffy, luxurious, um, high class lifestyle. And because of the recession, their parents have lost their jobs and have had to move to a place that is going to be more affordable to live there. So neither of the kids was excited about this move. Erica especially was not happy. Um, I think Daniel is 13 and Erica is younger, but I'm not, I'm not sure how much younger. Anyway, it doesn't matter. She's young enough that she still likes dolls. So that says something. So in this town in West Virginia where they live, um, they're not accepted there. The other kids and the other people that live in that town are unkind to Daniel and Erica and their parents because they're different. Um, because they just, because of where they're from. Okay, yes, so this house that they move into is called uh, the Estes House, and about 50 years ago, there was a family that lived there with the last name of Estes, and their daughter disappeared. And so the other kids in school are telling Daniel and Erica these scary stories about how 
you know, that girl, she got took and they never found her. And, you know, that Daniel and Erica need to be really careful because the woods where they live are dangerous. And they just think that these kids are just continuing to be mean and just trying to scare them. Not that there's any, not that the story is legit. So, um, we've also been given a glimpse into, um, kind of from the perspective of old auntie, which is basically the witch that lives on a hill, not very far from where, where Daniel and Erica now live. Um, old auntie is creepy. She has a, what is he? Like a razor back pig or something like that. And his name is, oh crap. Oh yeah. Named Bloody Bones. <laughs> Bloody Bones. <laughs> um, so yeah, old auntie is real. She's real and she's scary. And anyway, Erica has this doll that she has been talking to. She calls her little Erica. And anyway, I'm not going to give a lot away, but like if dolls creep you out anyway, this will creep you out. Um, yeah. So now Erica is in danger. Um, and yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Like I said, I don't, this is good. And so I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, but yeah, I can see, I can see why my daughter liked it. So like I said, going to try to get to page 100 in Took tonight. And then also I made it through chapter three in the book of life. I did check in with my Bookstara discord group. Um, we've kind of got the book divided up in chapters. And so like once every three chapters, we check in, kind of give our, our take on it and um, talk with each other that way. I would like to get to chapter six in the book of life tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So I probably will not check in again this evening. Um, and I may, I'm debating, I may wrap this vlog up here because I don't want these to get too long. Um, cause I don't like to watch long videos. Some people do. And I think that's cool. I also don't really like to like edit long videos. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, we'll see what I got. I may carry it on into tomorrow. It would be kind of cool if I could do two you know, wrap ups in one video, um, or two reviews. So we shall see until then. Hey, so it is Wednesday, August 3rd in the evening. Um, I didn't check in this morning because I just had it in my head that I was going to power through Took by Mary Downing Hahn, and I did. Um, this was really good. Overall, I'm going to give it four stars. The one thing that kept me from giving it five stars was the fact that I personally had one glaring unanswered question, and while the story is great without having that question answered just because of the type of reader I am I cannot in good conscience give this five stars um but with that said I would still recommend that you read it so and I did see that she's got some other uh kind of books along these lines middle grade horror I guess is what I've just read so yeah, I am going to end the vlog here. I am on chapter seven. No, <laughs> I'm on chapter four in the book of life, uh, which is again, the third book in the All Souls trilogy. I am going to try to really make some progress in that one this evening. And then if everything goes according to plan, I will start The Great Gatsby tomorrow. So that will be the first book on my next August vlog, reading vlog. So I hope you guys 
will keep watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, turn on your notifications. I am going to be vlogging all month this month and yeah, I would love to hear from you in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're reading and how your reading month is going so far. I will see you then.